The wall isn't boring anymore. I started a bookstagram, so. Okay, so we went shopping. But this is the mood board that I'm going for. I'm trying to expand my product line. I literally can't speak. What is the deal with that? actually so happy with how the photos turned out yesterday. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia for those of you who are new and I run a small business, a business? Small business Blush Designs Co where we sell hand tufted accessories and home decor and I also sell hand sewn goodies and I'm working on expanding my product line so if you like any of those things you can be sure to check out my shop. I will always leave the link down below. Welcome to another studio vlog. This week is not a market prep vlog and I'm kind of grateful for that. I have had a long last month of market prepping and everything and I'm just excited to kind of have a week where I can do a little less <laughs> and just kind of enjoy the joys of working for myself and being able to kind of take time off whenever I please. So this week we are going to be prepping for the bookish launch that I plan on having within the next couple of weeks. I asked you guys on Instagram if you could pick a date that works best for you and that you guys want to see the launch. Everyone picked Father's Day, so Sunday, June 16th. And I feel like I need to do another poll because I don't know if I want to launch them on Father's Day and I totally forgot that it was Father's Day. So um, I may do another poll, but if you aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to do that. I will leave it somewhere here because I do post a lot of polls when I need kind of an answer asap pronto because i love asking the youtube fam for help in videos but it's kind of a lengthier process because i have to do the whole week of videos and then upload it and then get your answer so if you want to be involved in some quick answer question process then you can follow my instagram because i do post a lot over there and just a lot of stuff in general so you should follow my instagram if you're not already shameless plug but yeah so this week we're working on launch i want to get like really into this launch i don't normally do like elaborate launch planning but like i feel like we should start doing that especially since i'm trying to expand my product line in terms of like more handmade stuff and sewing and getting more into the bookish community as well as doing tufted stuff because i have new tufted goodies coming down the pipeline and i'm really excited about those so yeah i'm just really trying to get my business game in order and I want to do like a mood Pinterest board inspiration. I will be doing a sort of like photo shoot. Like I don't have apparel, so I don't like go and like take pictures of me with the clothes on. But since I'm doing like a bookish launch, I want to get like a bookish photo shoot together. So that's what we're going to be doing this week. I'm going to at least try to get the mood board and shot list done. I don't know if I will get to go and do the photo shoot. I do want to do it at like a bookstore or like a library. So I'm going to see... Even a coffee shop would do well, but I need somebody with me, so I'll see if my friend Angela could help me um, do this. That is the plan for this week. A lot of launch prep and some organization stuff in the office, and I'm going to be taking a couple days off. I think just one or two days this week, and well, one of them is tomorrow, so I'll take you guys along with what I do on my day off tomorrow. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. This is more a chilled, laid back, relaxed week. I do want to meet up with Tova, so I'm going to message her actually today. It's Monday. I didn't even say that. It's literally 4 o'clock. I spent the whole morning editing the market vlog, so that's why I'm starting it late. I feel like that is just the norm with these market vlogs. They take so long. But I do want to meet up with Tova this week because it's been so long since I've seen my queen. And yeah, that is the plan. I am not really doing much work in terms of launch prep right now, I'm going to switch the SD cards in this camera and film the Q&A video. <coughs> I'm already getting a dry throat, so that's not good. I want to film the Q&A video. I just spent like the last 20 minutes prepping all the questions and just writing some bullet points because I seem to always forget what I'm saying when I film these videos. And then I'm going to go in my room and film on my bed because I just like that scenery more. It's not very nice outside. It's very overcasty and very gloomy and dark. So hopefully the lighting's okay. It's much better in my room than it is in my office. So I'm going to go in there and film the Q&A video. Hopefully that takes me about like an hour to film. I'm going to get my work phone because it has Notion on it and that's where I do all my planning on it. So if 
I don't know actually when that video is going to be posted, if it's going to be posted before this. We'll see. It might be. So if it is, I'll leave the card up here in the corner so you can check it out. But that is my plan. And then I have, I have, I have a Pilates class at 7 o'clock, so I will be leaving to go and do that. So I kind of want to get this video filmed so I can edit it at some point this week. So that is kind of the plan. I will have a better idea of what I'm doing this week, probably tomorrow when I sit and make a few lists for the week. So we'll probably meet again later on this evening. If not this evening, then we will meet in the morning for a day off and we'll enjoy my day off and enjoy just relaxing, zen, recharging my soul for life. <laughs> Okay, so I tried to film the Q&A video and I literally do not like the way that I'm answering any of the questions. I can't speak today and it's just not working. It's just, it's just not. So we're gonna leave that for another day. I started and I did half the questions in the video. It was already like 30 minutes. So I keep jabbing along and not actually answering the questions. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I can never stay on track when I do these videos. That's why I like the vlogs because it's a lot more, I don't know, it's just a lot more me. The sit down videos I like, but I just can't speak. Like I can't. I don't know why, but I can't. If I, if I know I have to say something and I'm answering a question, I literally can't speak. What is the deal with that? Literally what is the deal with that? I think I might make it more like vlog style question. I don't know. Maybe I like crochet while I answer questions. Like I don't know, it's just not, it's not, it's not giving what it needs to give. So with that said, I'm going to edit content and post something on Instagram because I think it's been a few days since I posted something and I think I'm going to post a reel. I haven't posted a reel in months. So yeah. And if any of you are wondering, last week I said I was reading Butcher and Blackbird. I <laughs> finished that in two days. So now I'm reading Wild Love by Elsie Silver and I'm about 130 pages in. I'm at chapter 14 and I assume I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I have a day off tomorrow so I'm going to be out and about so that's the plan. I put this in the book sleeve that I made. <laughs> She's so cute. These are launching soon so I'm so excited for them to launch. I have all of the patterns waiting to be photographed. I have to use this pattern as a photograph one because I used it for myself. But yeah, I'm very excited for this launch. I'm gonna probably go downstairs and sit on the couch and upload some content, get some pictures edited on my phone. Maybe I'll like draw on some stuff I'm gonna get. Oh, speaking of books, I started a bookstagram, so I'll leave it somewhere here if you want to follow it. If you're interested in book content, I'm going to start posting more about books on there. I'm also going to post about books here and on my business Instagram, but this is going to be dedicated. This? No. The Instagram is going to be dedicated to more bookish content and videos and stuff. So if you're interested in books, you can follow there. But yeah, I kind of really need to just sit down and figure out what the heck I want to do this week. I, like I said last week, I've been feeling super demotivated and just like lost when it comes to my business. Not lost as in like the direction, more lost in like what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like I am just like all over the place and I don't know, my brain is just, it's not working lately. So I think I do need a couple days off just to kind of reset, refocus. So maybe this week will be good for me. I do more planning, more thinking. I need to reopen up wholesale soon and that's a little bit daunting to me because I love wholesale a lot, but it is a lot of work, so. Now you begin again Breaking up shouldn't be this hard I just wanted a friend So you can keep your heart, keep your heart No more fights and no more debate I'm on a way to love you No more shortcuts that we can take only way out is through I promised you long ago to be your girlfriend, your girlfriend But somewhere down the road we hit a dead end, a dead end Though I tried, tried and tried It only made me cry, made me cry
us through. I promised you long ago to be your girlfriend, your girlfriend. And somewhere down the road we hit a dead end, a dead end. Though I tried, tried and tried, it only made me cry, made me cry. And now there's nowhere to go from here. We hit a dead end, a dead end. Uh, 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 dead end. Uh, 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 uh. Good morning, everybody. I am. Wait, it's Tuesday, I think, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday and it is 10 o'clock. I have started working at, or I started working at 9-ish, maybe 8.45. I had some emails to do and I had some emails to send out because I do like work a remote job on top of the business. And then I was just looking at my school email to see if my professor answered a question that I had, but he didn't, so I'll keep waiting. But I, I am gonna be working on the bookmark. So last week I showed you guys these super cool bookmarks that I'm bringing to the shop and they're double sided, they're laminated and they need uh, like to be written on with a Sharpie. So I'm gonna make that little backing card that goes in the plastic bag with the set of four and I'm gonna do that on Canva that I'm gonna print it out on my printer obviously. And we're going to see what it looks like so that we can start getting all of the products that I'm going to be launching ready so that they're all good to go for photographs. I have a bunch of mug rubs. I went in the garage to get all of my stuff that I bring to markets, like all my stock, since I don't have a market for another month pretty much. And I still haven't quite got the acceptance email for that one, but I feel like I will be going to it. I'm not sure yet. So I'll wait for that, but technically we don't have another market for another month. And then if I don't get into that one, we don't have a market for a while till fall, which I'm not mad about. Honestly, I had a good market start. I just, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to go too much into depth with my thoughts right now because I am trying to have a relaxing day, not a stressful day. So anyway, these are the book sleeves. I sold a few, um, not too many, which I was kind of surprised. A lot of people were like, saying that $35 for these were kind of expensive like not to me but like when I when they would walk by I could overhear them um and I don't know like I don't think $35 for this is expensive I mean like it's handmade it takes me a long time to make them and the fabric is not cheap to buy and I don't know I don't know I was kind of like second guessing myself a little bit when people would say that but I mean I don't know I would pay $35 for this maybe I'm biased because I made it but I would pay good money for something cute that's hand sewn and handmade but that's just me anyway so I'm kind of contemplating the price point I don't know online has to be a little more expensive anyway because we have to factor in the cost of packaging the cost of covering any additional shipping costs because I do flat rate shipping. So I think it's like $11 in Canada and then $12 in the US, which is not really a big difference. I should just make it the same price anyway. But it's going to have to go up soon because Canada Post is rising their prices and sometimes I can only ship with them. But yeah, so I do have to make the cost higher for online anyway. And then if I post these on Etsy, they have to be a little bit higher because of Etsy's fees and I have to compensate for that but I do want to get these listed I want to make a smaller size to fit a Kindle and just a Kindle and then maybe a bigger size for a hardcover so maybe that's something we can focus on later this week if I feel inclined to do so I am taking most of the day off today I'm just gonna be going out with my friend Angela we're gonna have a cozy day it I did want to go to the beach but it is not beach weather outside as you can see I'm in a sweater because it's cold outside and I had my window open for like the cool breeze. And we had the heat on last night. The heat in June. Anyway, <laughs> kind of crazy. Um, but then I also brought up the bookmarks that I made. So last week, let me put these away. So I brought all of the bookmarks that I made last week up so that I can take photos of those. I brought my photo studio backdrops back from my old house so I'm gonna maybe set that up somewhere here with the backdrop and like the clip that I have that I got from I think prop face I'll link them down below but that's where I got like my backdrop and stuff I think they're Australian 
and take some product photos of this stuff once I finish with the bookmark packaging so that I can get photos of the bookmarks. I usually do like a flat lay of a book and then put like some cute fun stuff around it. And I wanna like get some better pictures. So I'm gonna look on Pinterest maybe. I started getting a mood board together for the launch. So maybe we'll like do that before. I'm like literally processing my to-do list as I speak it. So that's why I'm like changing my mind a lot. So I'm sorry if that bothers you, but that's how I literally work. I just start talking and then I start to like see everything fit into place. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I have a bunch of new coaster designs that I wanna launch as well, including this little book stack because I'm literally obsessed with it. So before I use it, I wanna get some cute pictures and some content with it because I'm gonna keep this for myself because nobody bought any mug rugs and nobody bought any car coasters last weekend. <laughs> nobody bought anything to be honest because it was a really low sales day, but that's just how it is. And I wanted to give you guys a little book update because I don't know if I told you guys that I was starting Wild Love by Elsie Silver, but I am and I'm basically like halfway through now so it's so good i love ford i'm obsessed and i actually like i wasn't really into the book for like the first maybe like 50 to 60 pages it was kind of slow and i was kind of like i don't know if i like the writing but then it just started to get good like at some point it just started to get really good and i you started to see like the character development more i feel like the characters were barely like not dimensional at the beginning but i guess that's at the beginning of every story you're learning about them and their past and their history so yeah anyway it's good and i really am enjoying this i have wanted to start the flawless and heartless and all those i don't know what that series is called but i want to start that this is called the rose hill series maybe that's the chestnut spring series i think so i wanted to start that but that's not on my tbr this month so i'm not going to start that and yeah, I'm making good progress through my TBR. I want to finish the remaining three books that I mentioned last week. So that's my reading update and I think I can stick to it. I am literally like 15 books behind my schedule of my reading goal on Goodreads. So we got to catch up. I've been in a book slump for like three months and I haven't wanted to read anything or listen to anything. So that's been tough, but yeah, that's basically my update. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do now. I'm going to look on Pinterest, get some mood board pics together, and then I'm gonna create the packaging for that. And then I'm gonna find that little photo drop clip that I can use for my photo thing so that we can get some photos. Cause I always do this where I leave everything for like the last minute and I'm trying to have a relaxing launch for once. So yeah, that's the plan. You're never here when my tears dry You're never around to see me thrive When it's my birthday or my day off You got other plans and can't show up But when life does me a hand All of a sudden you're the first to come Always there to help and you're just a friend when I come undone I have to fall apart to get to I finished doing the packaging I don't know if I 100% love it because these bags are bigger than the bookmarks I can't find cellophane bags that fit these bookmarks perfectly so this is what we're working with I feel like I would like if the bookmarks were the same size as the paper but then I like that the fact that that the paper is like, you know, you know what I mean? Anyway, I like it, but I don't at the same time. It looks really official and cool though. <laughs> oh, I forgot to add like how many comes in it. So that's that. I think it looks kind of cute. It's definitely handmade. <laughs> Um, I don't know. We'll see. I have to get a hole punch, so I think I'm gonna look for that on Amazon. It does look good though. I can't stop looking at it because it looks cute. I like this idea. Maybe I can do like a set of bookmarks too and like do that on wholesale as well and online. Okay, so now that I have those keepsake bookmarks, I am going to sit and finish watching Jessica's new video and look on Pinterest for some info for the bookish launch. And also, I'm going to look for maybe some wall art 
that I can find. I'm also gonna look on Etsy because we need to do something about this boring wall situation. And this week is the perfect week, but this week is the perfect week to do it because I'm not doing much this week. I'm taking it easy and kind of regaining my spark back. So it's a perfect week. It's a perfect week for that. Anyway, let me do that. Let me scroll on Pinterest and I'll come back to you once I have the mood board somewhat done or maybe some photos that we're gonna work on. I would like to print them out at Staples so to maybe get some larger prints so I can get some like size variations because my printer only prints up to 11 by 17. And um, yeah, I would like to get like a bigger printer. But anyway, let me not think of all the things I wanna buy because we need to have a launch first because we haven't had a launch in so long. Okay. You see you again. You only have a heart When mine is bleeding Some kind of friend If I would win The lottery You wouldn't be Happy for me But if I blew It all in one day You'd be there to hug My pain away Cause in tricky situations so it is 11.14 and I finished doing some of the Pinterest stuff. I ordered some prints on Etsy so I'm going to find like a gallery wall frame set so that I can use those frames for the wall but I also want to print out some frameless ones too and then I got this like bookish gallery wall set that I think I might put in my room. Well not my room, our room, but in the corner because I want to get a little chair for the corner and that could be like my little reading corner and maybe put a bookshelf because I think that would be cute, but we have to run it by first. So anyway, I stretched a frame. I didn't trace anything on yet because I want to try something new. I want to expand my skill set when it comes to punch needle. I feel very like stagnant with the punch needle that I'm doing. And as punch needle increases in popularity and as it increases with more people wanting to try it, I want to continuously expand and just create new products with it. So I have some fun ideas. I saw some inspo on Pinterest of some things and some techniques that I wanna try out for myself. I wanna get a new punch needle. I wanna get a thicker one. I'll need to source some fabric as well because I feel like that fabric's just not, I mean the fabric that I have is not gonna work with a larger punch needle, I just, I know. So I'm gonna source some fabric. I'm going to go to Michael's and HomeSense today and return some stuff with Angela. We'll run some errands because we like doing that. And then um, when we come back, depending on the time, I may trace the new designs and then maybe kind of explain to you guys what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I just wanna like try different punch needle techniques. There's so many not just doing the loops on one side there are so many techniques you can do to make different textures and height variations of stuff so i want to expand and i feel like this week is a good week to kind of just focus on some new stuff and just kind of doing things that are fun and new i find that i get really into the repetitiveness of my business and i get so many orders for wholesale which is not a, like a bad thing but it really limits my creativity for creating new products and coming up with new launches and expanding my skill set so that's kind of what i'm going to do this week i've been trying to like find ideas of what i want to really work on this week and i think that is where i'm going to like put my focus on is just expanding the skills that i already have so definitely maybe some sewing and definitely the punch needle for sure and I don't know, just formulating new ideas, getting launch prep ready and doing some mood boards and just doing some fun stuff for the business. So I am actually on my way out. I'm gonna go and have my little girl's day with Angela. And then when I come back, depending on the time, we may do some housework and just some organization of the office. So this is my friend, Angela. Hi. I talk about her all the time. She did my hair. She's the hairstylist. I mentioned you in our last video at the end. I tagged your, oh, your hair oh, Instagram. Yeah. I didn't watch that one yet. I just watched the last one I watched was the market. I'm a bad friend. <laughs> I should leave. <laughs> okay, so we went shopping and we're gonna show you what we got because we did a little bit of damage in our bank account. A lot of damage. Okay. You first. Me? Okay. So I had a catastrophe. <laughs> so first <laughs> sorry. It's my shot. Okay. I got this skirt from Garage. Super cute. I think I might know someone who got a similar one. I was like, wait, what are you talking about? 
<laughs> then at Aritzia, this was on sale, so I had to try it on. And then once I tried it on, I had to buy it because if you're looking to get snatched, get yeah, that bodysuit. This, what is it called? The <laughs> Shake It 3 inch Life oh. Shake It. This bodysuit. <laughs> this one. And you'll be shaking it in that, that's for sure. And it was 30% off. So, really? yeah. You should have got one. I, I have one. Black one. Oh. Okay. But it has spaghetti straps. Oh, so then it's not the right one. <laughs> I can't shake it at that one. No, you can't. <laughs> but I I think I look like Kylie Jenner when I put it on. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's giving Kardashian. <laughs> and then I got these gray effortless pants. I've always wanted these and I just don't like spending money on clothes that much, but today Mia peer pressured me. I did. So I, did. I bought them and I love them. They're so cute. That's all I bought today because after the Aritzia, I <laughs> almost had a heart attack <laughs> and I needed to get out of the mall. We I ran out. To sit and catch my breath. Okay, now my turn. So, <sighs> why is there this in here? I didn't buy this. Okay, <laughs> from Garage, I got. Three things, I think, right? Oh yeah, my not bow. enough things. My bow. Okay, so I got this skirt. <laughs> Looks familiar. What's going on? It's my 2:45 <laughs> timer. <laughs> this girl has an alarm that means nothing every day. It just it goes means off. nothing, and I never turn it off. Okay, so I got this skirt. It's the same as Angela's skirt. It's just in white, and it also has a matcha stain <laughs> that I just did um, because I was looking for my keys. Anyway. Then we have this pink skirt, okay, tennis skirt. I don't play tennis, but maybe I will now. We should start playing pickleball. <gasps> I really want to. I've seen it all over the place and I really just want to play. Because I should. do like tennis. Okay. I hate tennis, but I'll, I'll try it. But you have to play. It's not like it's tennis. Different. Yeah, it's, it's different, yeah, it's different. It's pickleball. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I got this hair bow. It's clip. so cute. It's I made her buy it. $10? Oh my god. Okay, anyway, but I could have made this, but I know I'm not going to, so I just bought it. And it's very cute, it has little bows. So I got this shirt from Aritzia, and it's actually a sleigh. And then I saw this on Instagram with like, and it's like split on the side, and it's like it's really off the cute. shoulder, and it looks really it, good. You looked snatched in that. Yeah, I think it I really snatched. cinched your waist. It did. Or maybe your waist is just cinched. Potentially. That is the end of the haul. And then we went to Mochi Donut. Oh, yeah. And we, we already we ate, ate them. two of them, but <laughs> look at this one. Look at how cute that donut it's is. It's so cute, but it just falls on the floor. <laughs> it's for Jacob, so that's his donut, and it's on the floor. No, I'm just kidding. But that is what we got. Now I think I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and get Ooh, chicken forgot. nuggets, and then our date will have to be coming to an end shortly. What's up? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Because you have work? I have work later. I'm a teacher. Yeah, kindergarten. <laughs> but thanks for watching our haul and you probably will see more of Angela I hope during, so during the summer because I I quit my job <laughs> I made her I'm I kidding her. I'm kidding but anyway she quit her job to focus on summer mm -hmm, I did but yeah we're gonna go to Chick-fil-a maybe I'll film us eating Chick-fil-a and do like mukbang just kidding I'm not doing that but anyway I'll see you guys later good morning guys it is 10.30. I was up at my usual six o'clock, but I didn't start working until now. So I first had to get up, do my morning routine. I had breakfast. I read a little bit more of my book and just had a slow morning. I've really been enjoying this like relaxed, chill week. And it's kind of teaching me to go a little slower in the mornings. Sometimes in the morning, I do rush a little and like just get a little too amped up before the day is even beginning so i've been really enjoying like the slow mornings just reading and just not being on my phone so maybe this week off that isn't really fully off but like i'm just taking some steps back is teaching me some stuff um and then after that i went to drop jacob off at the train station and then i got gas and i finally got my oil changed in my car it was long overdue it was needed to be changed since April and we're now mid June. So the, even the guy at the thing was like, your oil was really low. I was like, uh -huh, I know. Anyway, so that's done. It was changed and we changed some other things in my car too that need to be changed. Like the air filter was like full of dust. And so I'm happy I got all that sorted out. I have a very like weird phobia or like fear of like my car breaking down when I'm driving it. And like, I just, 
the thought of that is so incredibly anxiety inducing and that I never want that to happen but I mean I know it may happen at some point but I would rather it not anyway um and then that was it then I came home I prepped the chicken for tonight's dinner I cut it washed it marinated it and now it's in the fridge I just thought that would make future me so much happier because the worst part about cooking is prepping the chicken I feel like because then I have to like take it out, wash it, I have to wash all the dishes before I start washing the chicken so we don't get chicken stuff all over the dishes in the sink, like it's just a whole fiasco. So yeah, anyway, I'm chatting about just random stuff right now. Um, I am about to go and continue making my mood board for the photo shoot for the new products and old products on Pinterest. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Michael's. I have some returning to do. I think I mentioned this last week that I'm gonna be returning the paintings that I bought from Michael's. And then I also got this like little chalkboard easel thing that I was gonna use for a sign, but then didn't end up using. So might as well get some money back. I think I'm probably gonna get about like 65, maybe $70 back, which is good because girl math means that if I get $70 back, I can spend $70 on Michael's. And depending on what kind of inspo I pull from Pinterest and what kind of vibes I'm going for for the photo shoot, then I may pick up a few things. I know that I want a few like fake flowers and I know that they have those. So we'll see what's going on. I do have a coupon, I think, for 40% off one item. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get a new Posca pen and then hopefully the 40% 40, the 40 off can go on the Posca pen because those are expensive. So that is the plan. I may pop over to HomeSense because it's in the same like plaza, just on the opposite side to return the pillows that I got for my bed. I got these like really big blue pillows and Jacob does not like them. And I do like them, but I kind of see what he, I kind of see what he's saying about them being like way too big. Angel's literally sniffing the camera. I don't know if you just saw her whiskers, but that was really funny. Um, and so I'm gonna return those. They were like $60 anyway. So girl math, get the money back, can spend more. Um, I've been spending a lot of money lately and I literally told myself that I'm gonna start saving. So make it make sense um that's what happens when i don't like when i take some time off of work i end up going to the store and like buying a whole bunch of stuff so that's probably why i should just continue to work every single day and not go out and buy anything i'm starting this like new series on my instagram of like decluttering my life i mentioned it on my stories yesterday i thought it was a cool idea so yesterday you guys saw me decluttering my purse like organizing and get rid of all the trash which by the way Oh my god, it's been long overdue for that too. So I just feel like so many things have been really chaotic lately and I haven't really had time to like do the reset things that I normally like to do, especially since I have stopped filming the monthly reset videos, which June is coming up, okay? Or July is coming up. I'm filming July reset, okay? I'm getting back on my reset game. But I feel like that would be really fun to do on instagram so if you want to follow me over there i think i've like plugged my instagram so many times but if you want to follow me over there i'm going to be doing like a little mini series there and then i feel like i may want to do like some more resetting videos i just feel like everything is a mess and everything is chaotic and i just need to like get a grip on everything so yeah that's what i'm trying to do that's basically what this week is it's like me getting a grip on life because i feel like i'm just literally floating in the air like you know those movies in the western movies where hey okay, we're not doing that Angel, you're not jumping on the top. I'm sorry, but you're not gonna go up there. Please, get down. Yeah, I was saying, you know those Western movies where like there's nobody there and they're just playing that like weird like flute music and then it's just like the hay bale like flowing in the wind. Like that's what I feel like and I feel like, I just feel crazy. <laughs> so I need to like clean, organize and just get myself organized because I need to feel at peace again. So I've really just not been doing the things I need to do and it's driving me nuts. So anyway, that's my little rant. I feel like this whole video has just been me talking. So I think that I have figured out 
the vibes that I want with some minor changes, but this is like the aesthetic that I'm going for. So I'm gonna have to change my duvet cover so it's white because I want the white background to make the colors pop. But anyway, I need to get a few things, but let me show you what the mood board is looking like. I'm actually so proud. I'm gonna post this on my story so you can get people excited for the bookish launch. But this is the mood board that I'm going for. It's giving coquette, cozy cottage reading vibes, I think. And I just, I love it. I love the bows. I love the like soft girl aesthetic that it's going for. It's very much me. So I'm so excited. And I have an idea of like the things that I want. I have books, so I don't need that. I would like a tray of some sort um, or like maybe a placemat. I'll see what they have at Michael's and then I'll also see what they have at HomeSense since I'm gonna go there. And I already have books, I have all the bookmarks and this photo here that has like the books and like the little bows and stuff, this one, um, and it has that little makeup bag. Replace the makeup bag with the book sleeve. Genius. So I am literally obsessed with the vibes. Uh, I have a vase, so I'm probably going to use one of the vases that my Lego flowers are in. And then I'll put them back, obviously. But I think I'll put some of the fake flowers in, so I'll build like a cute little bouquet. And then those flowers could also be used as flat lays, because I want to get flat lays of all the new stickers and all the old stickers and just revamp everything. I'm in a mood to redo, reset, move on. So that's what I'm going to do. One thing I need to do is fix my Shopify counter, but that's not today's problem. We are back from Michael's and HomeSense, so my glasses are annoying me because they don't sit on my nose the way I want them to. I found a video online about this girl talking about glasses that sit like perfectly here and they don't slip down, but I can't find it. And I don't remember the brand. Anyway, I am gonna show you what I got for the photographs, for the photographs, <laughs> for the photo shoot. Um, Michael's was having like a literally like the best sale I've ever seen in my life. It was like 60% off like almost everything in the store. So you'll see what I got. I got some pretty good stuff and it only came up to like $110 and I got a good amount of stuff. So I am pleased and even the ribbon was on sale. Let's get on with it. So from Michael's I got two like placemat things. I got a white one and a I got a tan one and a white one. They're, they have two placemats in them, but I wanna use this as like a foundation for the photos. Um, so, and I didn't know if I wanted white or tan and they were $5 on clearance, so I got both. Cause I don't know, are we going for like more like a neutral or more like a bright? I couldn't decide if I wanted white or brown and now I don't have to change my bed sheets. So I just got both. Anyway, I don't know why, I'm not gonna validate every single purchase, otherwise this haul is gonna take like 800 years. Then from Michael's, I got a bunch of fake flowers. So I got this like brush thing <laughs> and uh, it was very not expensive. Then I got these little roses. It's so cute, it's a bouquet. And then I think they're like individual as well. So I love that. I got it in white as well. I'm trying to like take everything out without breaking the rest of the flowers. I got some tulips. These were literally $1.99. So I got the pink ones and then I got the white ones and then I got, these are the white roses that I got, very cute. Then I also got these like pink, I don't even know what these are, but they're very pretty. And like when I don't use these flowers or like I can have a few like prop flowers in my uh, photography bin that I have, like with my just like props, random props. And then some of these I can put in an actual vase and have it in my office because they're all like the vibes. So anyway, <laughs> I need to stop getting off topic. And then I bought this like bouquet of like a little greenery. I thought it would be nice to add a little bit of like shrubbery in the photo to kind of break up the pink and stuff. I didn't want to use too much pink. I know I can go a little crazy with the pink. And so I needed some to break up that, like I needed to break it up a little. So that's why I got the white flowers in as well. And as well. And that's why I got like that like brush looking flower as well so that I can kind of break that up. I also found a disco ball. I don't have this size of a disco ball, so I thought that would be cute to add in. I have like my really humongous one that I use for my branding shoot. And then I have like a, so many little miniature ones I got on Amazon. What 
else? So as far as the ribbon goes, it didn't go super crazy because I had already bought ribbon. So I got a little bit of a thicker light pink ribbon and then I got a thick pink ribbon. They're not the same pink, but they didn't have this like lighter pink. So I just got the dark pink. Then I got glue dots because I bought permanent glue dots by accident instead of buying um, removable glue dots. And sometimes it rips the stickers when I do the stickers on the backing card. So anyway. I swear that I had a thick punch needle, but I didn't. So I got a thicker punch needle. And then last but not least from Michael's, I just picked up this little cake topper for my brother because he's graduating elementary school this year and it was on 60% off. So I was like, yes, let me buy it. And I think I should make him a cake for his graduation. I was thinking to buy one, but I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to get more into my baking era, so maybe I should try and bake it. But then again, I'm like, what if it turns to crap because I can't bake? So anyway, <laughs> so that's all I got from Michaels. Now to show you what I got. Oh, no, 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 I didn't, that's not all. I got picture frames. So they were 60% off as well. And I got three of the eight by 10, which is actually five by seven, like it's like framed. And then I got eight by 10, like actual eight by 10. Oh no, sorry, this is eight by 11, I think. I don't know. Okay, I got three small ones and two big ones. And then I'm gonna start building that wall over there. I actually have the size paper to make this and I have the um, satin like photo paper that I bought a while ago when I used to sell prints. So I'm gonna use that and then I don't have to go to Staples. And if I want to print a bigger one, then I can and just find a bigger frame. But these frames are just so beautiful. And the cost of all these frames together was less than the two picture frames that I returned. So I think I won. Anyway, now last, let me just quickly speed through this. Um, I got, this is from HomeSense. I got a little pink dice candle. I think this will be cute for photographs for the photo shoot but also for my bookstagram like when I do like little flat lays and stuff I'm trying to be in my influencer era uh, and then of course she had to get a book I saw this book and it was literally $7.99 and then I like opened a little bit of it and it looked good so I bought it it's by Tessa Bailey and um it also it's pink so it's gonna look good for the photo shoot anyway then I got this little basket it's not a basket it's more like a tray and I thought this was super cute. I always see like flat lays with them on Pinterest and I liked the vibes, so I bought it. And then I got this set of placemats. I only really needed one, but obviously I can't buy one. So I just got all of these. And I like the fact that they're literally so thin that I can fold them and put them away because we have limited space in this office. So the more things I can put into a shelf or put into a drawer, the better. So that is my haul from Michaels and HomeSense. I spent... <laughs> A little bit of money I think I spent like hundred and fifty dollars on all this stuff but I mean I got a lot of things and I don't really need anything else I just need to now take pictures and hone in on my creativity side so that's that this clip also so long I feel like I know you guys say you like me talking but I always feel like I don't show enough of what I'm doing but okay <sighs> I'm gonna get started on kind of setting up the area I have to move my computer down on the floor and then put all this photography stuff but I just want to pull all the products that I'm going to be taking pictures of and kind of make a list of the things I don't have so that I can make them if I so feel inclined to um and I'm going to take pictures of the air fresheners I'm going to do the whole bookish launch I'm going to get everything ready so we'll just do some like music I literally like I don't know what's happening today we're going to put some music over you know the clips of me getting this together and then yeah You're never here when my tears dry You're never around to see me thrive When it's my birthday or my day off You got other plans and can't show up But when life does me a hand All of a sudden you're the first to come Always there to help and listen You're just a friend when I come undone I have to fall apart To get to see you, see you again 
intermission from the photo shoot. I'm still taking photos in case you're wondering. It is 2.28 and I think I started this around 1 o'clock and set up to take a while and then I took a break right now to make the packaging for these car coasters. I The brown just wasn't giving against the brown here so I just decided to make it. I still have a couple tweaks but it's just minor things like sizing wise. Um, but I just wanted a little mock-up so I can get a picture of these so that I can put this picture that I just took on my fair and show the retailers exactly how it's packaged and I want them to see that there's a hole and that they're able to hang or display this flat like however they want. They have the option to hang them if they want because I've had retailers ask me about that. I already took pictures of the crochet vent charms, all the coasters, all the car coasters, all the stickers and all the bookmarks. I got one version of the photo that I wanted to take and this is going to take a lot longer than I had anticipated originally but I still have so much time to do this before I have to like go downstairs and make dinner and stuff. And my cats are here with me, keeping me company. I also took pictures of the air fresheners as well, whatever I have in stock. So there's some signs that are sold out that I plan on restocking seasonally that I don't actually have any here and then I have Christmas ones but I didn't include them in this because I want to create a Christmas flat light for those. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. This. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's very similar to how my regular car coaster packaging is. I'm going to use these from now on to package the car coasters for wholesale. I really just like this. And then I think when I package car coasters for orders, I'm going to put them in... I don't know like I don't know if I want to use this I want to kind of start steering away from plastic as much as I can so as I like after I finish the cellophane bags that I have for most of my other things I think that I'm gonna start removing the backing cards for regular orders and just putting them in the little there's like these little mesh bags you can get on Amazon like for bulk and I just think that they're better for the environment and people can reuse them as well so I was thinking to do that, but I'm just like thinking about random things as I do this. But the only thing I think that I'll keep the plastic for is the car coasters for wholesale. I just think that it looks really good and I don't know, I just think it's really useful. I could also like just do the paper, but then they might fall off and I don't want them to get lost. So anyway, I'm just speaking. I wanted to show you guys the packaging because I know I mentioned this last week when I showed you guys this packaging idea that I wanted to try and see what the white would look like. And then maybe before I transition over to the little like mesh bags, I will use up all of the brown cards. getting to be sunny in the office finally I get sun around like 7 15 and it's 6 15 so shortly I'll be able to film my reel of redecorating my Kindle until then I want to show you guys some stuff and I'm going to be working on the computer so I am here when the sun 
enters the room. It's here, but soon it moves over here. Anyway, let me show you what I did. So I got the picture frames done and I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. I kind of want more, but I feel like less is more with these frames and if I get too many, it might be like overkill. So I'm gonna get the, what's it called? The little Velcro things. Okay, sorry, my mom phoned me. I don't even know what I was saying, but, oh, maybe less is more with the picture frames and then maybe some without, but anyway. I printed out some bookish ones. So this one's like um, bookish things. And then I have cowboy boots, obviously, because I'm actually obsessed with cowboy boots and Nashville and just that in general. And then we have some oranges. These are the smaller frames, by the way. And then I have two big ones. So I put Howdy Cowgirl in here, pink with like a cream background. And then following like the orange pink vibes, I got this April spritz print. It very much matches the frame. So I don't know how much I love this, but I will probably switch out the frames, the frames, the pictures every so often. So I'll just leave it for now because yeah. So I'm going to put them up on the wall and I'm actually scared because once I put them up on the wall, I don't want to take them down because I don't want to rip the wall or the paint. So I'm gonna put these up. I was thinking to, maybe I'll just show you quickly what my idea was. I'm not gonna move the camera, so you'll just have to see half of me. But I was thinking, let me turn it this way, to put these two big ones up here. So like this. And then like that. And then have three small ones on the other wall but then I was also thinking why don't I do ouch do like a mix and match type of situation Angel what are you doing do like a mix and match situation where I put like you guys literally can't even see okay so they're gonna go higher but I'll show you so you can actually see and do like them like this I think actually that would be really cute. Plus then I don't have to get the measuring tape out and I really don't want to do that because I'm lazy. So I'm gonna put these up in whatever pattern I think that they should go and hopefully it's not ugly because once I stick it on the wall, there's no turning back. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I have to be up close. Do you see behind me? The wall isn't boring anymore. Okay, the street cleaner's coming. Okay, I just had to shut the window because you could still hear the street cleaner even though he's all the way down the street. Guys, it looks so good. I trusted the process, okay? I trusted my intuition. What am I even saying? And it looks so good. I showed you guys in the clips. I'll show you guys another picture that I'm gonna post on Instagram at some point. I'm obsessed. Sorry, I'm trying to eat these cucumbers before they go dry. And I had them literally in a measuring cup. And I wasn't measuring them. I just didn't want to dirty another dish. And I just used this to measure water. Anyway. I filmed my... Um... My reel that I wanted to make. And I've been wanting to make this for so long. But I redecorated my Kindle with a bunch of new stickers. I used some of the mini stickers that I made for my markets. You guys cannot even see because it's so dark. This is better. Honestly, I can't even see. The sun is blinding me. But anyway, this is the Kindle. Okay, now you can see better. And I used some full-size stickers, but I also used this cowboy boot fell down. But anyway, cute. It has a bow, it has a bow. It's just, it's giving. I need to figure out a different way to position the camera. Maybe I go over here. So it is 7 to 15. Oh my God, didn't I literally say 7 to 15 is when the sun comes out? So I've been trying to like revamp stuff and reorganize and redecorate and try to make it feel a little more cozy and homey in here because I feel like I mentioned before I'm going a little bit manic with the amount of chaos that I feel going on inside my brain. So I am doing things that I feel will make me feel less crazy. So, anyway, I'm actually obsessed with how that little corner of my office looks. Oh my god, everything's finally coming together. I've been wanting to have 
wall art and just picture frames and just stuff on the wall because I feel like my space is so boring if I don't have pictures on the wall. I used to always put prints on the wall because I used to make them. But after I stopped making prints, I stopped putting things up. And now I just, it, honestly, it looks so much better. I love it. It's gonna look better for videos. I just, I'm, I'm so obsessed. Okay, it turned out way better than I could even imagine. The only thing is, is I ran out of um, Velcro for this one. So I'm gonna put this up, I think over there, but I need to get more of the command strips, which I found some downstairs, but they're white and these ones are black. So I just wanna use the same color. So I'm gonna order some on Amazon, but, um, or maybe go to Walmart because sometimes Amazon's more expensive for those things than just getting it at the store. Anyway, as I was saying, I brought up my tufting cloth from downstairs in the basement because I have my um, like tufting bin downstairs. And I'm going to put this on one of my mini frames and I'm going to see if I can tuft something out with the big punch needle. It's been a long time since I've tried any other materials since the ones I use religiously to do orders. But that's the joy of attempting to make new products and trial and error different things. It's the potential of possibly ruining a fabric or punching a hole through your fabric. And yeah, I am not a stranger to ruining punch needle fabric and, you know, literally wanting to rip up my hair because I couldn't figure out a combination of materials. But I think that this should work with my knowledge on punch needle. It should work because this is a not so tightly woven um, fabric and then the needle obviously is large. So this is gonna, this needle is gonna fit larger yarn. So the yarn that I use to crochet will be the yarn that I use in that needle. I mean, I could get thicker yarn cause it's a very thick punch needle. super dark in here so i'm gonna be going to bed soon well i'm gonna be getting ready to read and take a shower and all that stuff because it's 8 30 and i've literally like done stuff all day so i'm kind of tired but i want to show you guys what this little thing turned out to be like i don't know if i am loving it i think i need a slightly smaller needle this is my problem is i cannot ever find the right needle online i mean in person i always have to order it online and then it costs like eight billion quadrillion dollars but this is what she looks like it's with the thicker yarn i did an outline and then i did a vase with some flowers i just literally sketched this up really quick on procreate i don't know i like it but i don't at the same time Maybe I'm just used to like my finer style of punching them. It's not my style, but like the finest style. Finer, finer style. I don't know. I'll sleep on it. I'm gonna prep it tomorrow. I'm gonna put some glue. And then, yeah, we'll see. I'll hang it up in my office still, cause it's cute. But I don't know if I like it to make more, you know? But yeah, okay, that's it. I'm gonna clean up this office a little bit because I made a little bit of mess with all the paper and yarn stuff and I'll meet you guys tomorrow morning with hopefully an update on wild love hopefully I'll have finished it excited to work today I feel really productive after yesterday organizing and just focusing on like doing product photography and stuff I'm just really excited to get to what we have to do today so I made a little to-do list I'm going to show it on the screen and I'm gonna read it out for you really quick 
So I need to package up wholesale orders that contain only freshies only. I want to glue together the wall hanging and get the rest of that reel finished and filmed. I want to post content on Pinterest, so that means I have to edit a bunch of stuff and then post them. I want to edit the Kindle and the wall hanging video so I can post that on Instagram and TikTok at some point. I want to draw up a new Instagram post of, I don't know, something that I feel inclined to post. I want to trace designs on the big frame. I have some orders on Etsy that I need to, I mean not Etsy, on my website that I need to get started on. I want to order a new office chair. This chair is so gross and nasty and I really need a new one. So I'm going to look on Amazon and maybe like I'll scroll on TikTok to see if anyone has some good recommendations for office chairs. I don't know if I'm going to purchase one today, but I at least want to look for one. So if you have an office chair that's really comfortable, I like to sit with my legs up on the chair. Um, like, I don't know how to show you guys, but I like to just like have both of my legs up or like one of my legs up. So I want a chair that has like a wide seat. So if you have any recommendations, be sure to let me know because I need a new chair desperately. And I want to make the Kindle and hardcover book sleeve patterns and the, get the sizing right so that I can make a couple and have different size options coming available maybe with this launch or maybe with the next one so I want to at least get the sizing down so I'll have to measure the Kindle and get a hardback book and measure so yeah that is the plan I'm actually so happy with how the photos turned out yesterday like I couldn't stop looking at them I didn't actually edit any of them yesterday because I spent like two and a half, three hours just taking the pic the pictures, the pictures. And then I was working on getting some content for my bookstagram as well. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel so motivated now, like with the photos and stuff and to edit them and like get ready for launch. Like, I'm just so excited for this launch. I think that like having a theme and getting product photos together and just setting it up and making it fun really adds to the enjoyment of doing these launches so i'm just excited and i'm also excited for this wall here i know you can't see the very top photo but i just it adds so much character to the background and then when i put all my tufted stuff on this side it's just gonna look so good in videos so i'm very excited and not only in videos but it's just gonna look good in general and just make me happy to be in my space and i think that is definitely what i needed in here with some stuff on the wall just to make it happier and then over there on the side of my bookshelf i have some prints that i'm hanging i'm gonna collect prints as i do orders from small businesses because i always get like prints when i order things from my small business friends or just small businesses in general so yeah um i do want to give you guys an update on my books i think i'm gonna do a june wrap up in either a separate video or in the july reset video so we'll see um, but I finished Wild Love. I tabbed it. I didn't tab it as much as I thought I would, but I loved this book. Oh my god, Ford has my heart. I am so obsessed. This is my first ever book that I've read by Elsie Silver. I have two of her other books, Flawless and Heartless, that I've been meaning to read from the Chestnut Spring series. But I don't know, my mood, I've just been mood reading to get out of like this book slump that I've been in for two months. So I'm just really happy with how I love this book. I think the writing was perfect. Like I said, for like the first maybe 7,500 pages, I wasn't really convinced that I was liking the book and it was really slow. But then, not slow, but like I just wasn't into it. But then at some point it started to really pick up and the banter between the two was so good. It had me actually laughing out loud. Same thing at, that Leather and Lark did. Like I was like audibly laughing out loud at some parts of the book and it's very not typical that a book does that to me because I don't know like reading it I just like I'll giggle in my head but I'll never like actually laugh and this book had me laughing so I I loved every second of it. I think I'm gonna rate this uh 4.75 stars. It didn't give me the five star feeling that I've been wanting like Leather and Lark gave me the five star feeling but I don't know the rating may change so I'll put the rating on the screen but I love this book now time for another book so a lot of people have been commenting that just for the summer and this summer will be different are both really good books I think what I'm gonna read next is this summer will be different because it's a skinnier book and I just finished reading like a 450 page book so I think we're gonna do this summer will be different 
by Carly Fortune. Okay, we need to get the sticker off. Like, I know it's 30% slay, but it's ruining the vibes. Perfect. So this summer will be different. I'm so excited. Oh, and this is the Indigo exclusive. Anyway, I'm excited. Let's see how many pages this book has. 340. Okay. Not bad. So I'm excited. I'm going to get my tabs ready for this book. And then we're going to get right to work. I want to just set this up, get my pens. I'm going to use an orange pen and an orange highlighter because I color code everything and it's just fun to me if you don't annotate your books. That's okay, but I love to annotate my books. I actually hated doing this in high school because my teachers would force me to do it. And now I'm literally annotating, writing, and thinking about books all day long. So that's kind of funny how that works out. But anyway, I'm making good progress in my TBR this month. I set it for only four books because I knew four books, but I read five because I finished Powerful, but I didn't start in this month. But um, so I could at least finish one TBR that I set for myself this year because normally I have like a TBR of like 8 billion books and then never finish it. So yeah, I'm trying to read the books that I have bought previously so after this i'm gonna hopefully pick some stuff off of my tbr that i bought before but knowing me i'm gonna see new releases and want to buy them and we are quickly approaching the, the release of reckless and i cannot contain my excitement because i'm so excited i think i talk about reckless at least once a video and i'm just so excited because i i need to know what happens i need to know orders that can go out so I'm gonna stick all the orders that I need to send out in a bag and then I'm going to probably get started on cutting out the wall hanging and getting a video or like getting some content of it filmed on my phone uh, no 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 the moment I get off my chair a cat has to go and sit on it I'm like not even kidding I wasn't on my chair for like 30 seconds and Mr. Stink is already on my chair. Oh my God, today I'm gonna be booking a movie. Tomorrow the Inside Out 2 movie comes in or comes out in theaters and I need to go see it. Like I have been dying to see it. I've been checking like when it's coming out for like weeks because I've been obsessing over it and I wanna see it. Like it's such a cute little movie. It's 2.46. I'm gonna be so for real. I laid in my bed for like an hour, just on my phone, <laughs> doing absolutely nothing productive. And I'm not mad about it. I, kind of, I was just laying with Tuxedo. We were laying together. He was sitting super close to me, which he never does because he doesn't like the way that I breathe. And he was sitting real close to me and I didn't want to move. And then he was laying like on my back and I just had to. It was necessary. I had to lay down with him. So I did. And now I'm, I don't know, forcing myself to get up out of bed. I am currently looking at, whoa, what's going on here? Oh. I'm currently looking at the 460 photos that <laughs> I have to edit and go through and crop and resize and just add my preset to them. I mean, the photos look damn good. Like I did a good freaking job with these. Like I slayed the house boots down. Not to toot my own horn, but I did. It looks so good. Okay, anyway, now I did say that I was going to do the big frame, but I changed my mind and since I only have um, 
four car coasters, a regular size mug rug, and two car charms. I'm pretty sure I could fit it all on this frame, like this little one. And then I can leave the big frame for some new designs and some like tester products. So that is what I'm gonna do. The only thing about this frame is that I can't use my iPad to trace the designs. I actually have to get them from my iPad onto my computer, resize them so they're the correct size, and then print them and trace it that way. That's the only downside to using the little frame. But it's not really a downside, to be honest. It's just I have to do what I have to do. Angel tries to keep eating the plastic, and Tuxedo's trying to get in the room. It's just full chaos over here all the time with these cats. What are you doing? She wants a free sticker, because that's where she's sticking her head in the sticker bin. I'm gonna prep this frame and get the designs all traced on, and then I think I'm gonna tuft some of this stuff out. It's 2.49, my mom's in charge of dinner tonight. I do have to go pick up Jacob from work, well, from the train station at around maybe 5.30. I think he might be going to the gym. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to have to stop at some point during the evening, eat dinner, go pick him up, maybe go for a walk, get, get outside a little bit, even though I did get outside today, which is good, but I need to get outside more. If I do a 30 minute brisk walk, Aura says I will hit my move goal for the day or like my activity goal, which I'm trying to get 10,000 steps and I do almost get 10,000 steps almost every day. So, slip. That is that and then I think I'm going to end the vlog here because tomorrow I'm just going to work on schoolwork and cleaning and organizing stuff around here and I'm going to film the Q&A video tomorrow um, because I tried to film that on Monday or Tuesday and it just didn't go very well. So that is the plan. Okay, we're back in the same spot that I left you guys. I already had dinner and I am now eating some blueberries that I washed this morning and then never ate. I just left them on the counter, so now I'm eating them. And they're pretty good. That one was our. Um, I finished the mini frame and why do I have a voice crack? And I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna cut this out and glue it and prep it later. But now I'm just gonna continue doing some stuff on the computer and clean up the office a little bit. And then once I'm finished gluing this stuff, I'm going to probably take a shower and read my book. And I think I told you guys I'm starting This Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune and at least make some progress in there and work on editing the photos and stuff. It's 6.18, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I am going to do another video next week of more launch prep and getting things ready and showing you guys how I kind of build hype for a launch. So stay tuned for that video. And I'm also going to film the Q&A video tomorrow. So that's that. Um, if you guys did enjoy this week's video, please make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos that I do post. I am kind of thinking about starting a book channel so stay tuned for that i'll leave the link down below if i do end up deciding to start it but stay in the loop if i decide to do it i'm still pondering so i don't know if i'm going to but i kind of want to so let me know if you would like to see that kind of stuff i think i want to create that separation between like business and book stuff but i will still talk about book stuff here and there on this channel so yeah i will see you guys in next week's video i hope you guys have a wonderful morning afternoon or night and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.